Hi, I am Renmark and welcome to our video tutorial about Java programming. In this video, we will talk about lesson 14.2 where we will demonstrate several Java strings activities. So let's get started. Sample activity number one. We will going to create a program that will greet a user based on the inputted sex. The input shouldn't be case sensitive but should be spelled correctly. Example is shown in the next slide. So yung gagawin natin ngayon parang dinemo ko lang nung last, se uh, last lesson pero may konting modification lang kasi dalawa yung criteria natin this time. I-allow natin yung user na mag-enter ng sex, for example male, and then kapag pinras yung enter, we will just going to greet him, welcome sir. If yung in-input naman niya is female, then we will going to welcome her, welcome ma'am. So, ang system lang dito, pag mali yung spelling, no, doon tayo mag-print ng sorry invalid sex. Pero, supposed to be, no, kahit lowercase, uppercase, or jeje case, no, yung toggle case na sinasabi ko sa inyo, supposed to be tatanggapin niya. Uh, basta hindi lang siya misspelled. Okay? So, let's do that. Okay, I already created a class named strings sample activity 1. So, dito natin gagawin yung ating activity. Uh, hindi na tayo gagamit ng custom method, no? Kasi simple lang naman yung mga activities na gagawin natin today. So, we will just going to print system dot out dot print and then we're just going to prompt the user to enter sex. That's it. And then, uh, mali ang spelling. Okay. Uh, we will going to declare a variable string or an object string named sex and that would be equal to scan dot next line. Next line is how we read strings. Then we will go into test the value of sex. So if sex dot first thing is invoke muna natin yung method niya na either gagamit tayo dito ng to upper or to lower. So alin man doon sa dalawa but I prefer to upper. Okay? And then after that, it will we will going to invoke yung method natin uh, dot equals. Okay? This is how or this is how we should compare strings tulad nga ng sinabi ko do sa last lesson. And we're going to ask if uh, the string is male, okay, equals to male. So if it is, we will just going to print uh, welcome, okay, welcome, and then sir, that's it. And then we will going to copy paste this one. We just have to put else over there, and then I have to change the criteria to female. That's it. So, same, you just have to convert the text into uppercase, then test it whether if it is equal to female. And if it does, just have to print ma'am. Ma'am. Okay? And then, if wala dyan sa dalawa yung input niya, ibig sabihin, misspelled yung word, do natin ipiprint yung word na sorry, invalid, sex. And that's it. Ito na yung activity 1. Warm up lang siya dun sa mga susunod dating activity. So for example, I type mail. Welcome sir. So kahit ano pa yung case niyan, sabi nga sa inyo, basta hindi siya misspelled po pwede. So hindi po pwede yung uh, mail. No? That's not possible. So ganun lang kadali yung first activity. No? So I know it's boring. We will go into proceed to the next activity. So sa next activity naman natin, uh, i-level up natin ng konti. We will going to create a program that will imitate the idea, only the idea, of a login form. The username and password are static. So, kaya nga sabi ko ID lang kasi wala pa naman tayong ability na kumuha ng record mula sa isang database. And also, yung password, no, hindi pa natin kayang i-mask sa ngayon. Kasi, di ba, whenever you type password, supposed to be yung password, hindi siya nakikita, hindi siya visible either asterisk, okay, yung character or yung bilog na maliliit. Pero, yung idea lang, no, kung paano siya pwedeng gawin. The username will be statically admin, so admin yung dapat niyang i-type, at yung password is also written like this. Password, capital P, at sign yung A, small double S, capital W, zero yung O, and then R, D, and then exclamation. And should be at least 8 characters. So, hindi siya pwede bumaba ng 8 characters in length. Yung output na dun sa next slide. So, ito yung magiging output natin. Pag niran natin yung program, lilitaw to. Log in. And then, magpiprint siya ng username. And then, magi input tayo ng username. For example, ang in-enter natin is admins, may S. Alam natin mali yan. 
and then password, nandun yung password, and then my exclamation, pero mali. Kapag mali yung credentials na in-input niya, it will going to print invalid username or password. Hindi natin sasabihin kung saan siya nagkamali. So, or yung ilalagay natin, no? hindi natin i-determine kung admin ba, I mean kung username or kung sa password siya nagkamali. So, another example naman, kung nag-input siya ng tamang username, mali yung password at kulang, sasabihin niya invalid username or password and password should be at least 8 characters. So, ito yung sinasabi ko na hindi pwedeng bumaba sa 8 characters yung password. And lastly, syempre, kung tama na yung in-input niya, we will just going to print welcome to the system. So, that's it. Ganun lang kasimple. So, gagawa tayo ulit ng bagong class. And then, kukopyin ko na yung import. Also, the scanner. Okay, kailangan ko to. And then, paste it here. And we're good. So, first things first, lilito yung ganitong output. So, yung may error, yun yung nilabas ko para madali na lang para sa atin. So, meron tayong header na nasa taas. So, gagamit ako ng system.out.print para i-print yun. Dali lang yan nung kailangan lang natin gumawa ng apat na hashtag. And then, login. And then, space, one, two, three, four, apat na hashtag ulit. By the way, I'll be using print line para bumaba. Next, it would be username. So, we're going to print system.out.print and then we will going to type here username. Okay? So, next, magbabasa tayo ng input mula sa user. So, kailangan natin mag-declare ng isang variable na hawak doon in the form of string. So, string, username, by the way, again, mali na naman ako doon. It should be object. So, scan.next line. Okay. So, next. Uh, by the way, uh, hindi case sensitive yung uh, username, no? Pwede siyang capital, small, and so on. So, alam na natin gagawin natin dyan. And then, but the password, no, should be exact match. Uh, yung password naman. So, copy-paste lang ng konti. And then, we will go into print password. Okay? And then, in here, syempre, papalitan natin yung pangalan ng ating object into password. So, ngayong nakuha na natin yung input na gusto natin, itetest na ngayon natin yung ating string. So, very simple. So, una, itetest natin gamit muna yung username. So, dito, kailangan ang condition natin ay end. Okay? So, hindi tayo pwedeng gumamit dito ng or. So, kailangan masatisfy parehas na admin yung username at yung password would be yung password na sinet natin. So, how do we do that? Uh, very simple. Una, sabi ko nga hindi case sensitive yung username. So, pwede natin itanong if username dot to upper to uppercase dot equals to and then admin. Okay, para safe. So, admin yung ating magiging uh, criteria para doon. And then, we will going to use the logical end. How about the password? So, we will going to test the password. Sa password, Automatically, we will just go into test whether if it is equals to and then yung password na requirement natin. So, kukopihin ko muna yung password. So, it should be like this. Okay? And then, we'll go into put curly braces. Okay? So, test natin kung yung admin o I mean yung, yung username is equals to admin at yung password is equals to password. Then, actually, kahit wala muna pala to, we will go into print system dot out dot print okay ang ipiprint natin will be welcome to the system yun lang naman pag tama no alam natin tama yan kapag ka ganito ang password at ganito ang uh, kanyang username ngayon dun papasok yung else sa else part so itatanong muna natin if yung ah uh, length ng ating password kasi ganito yan ha magpo-false yan kapag kamali yung either yung username o yung password tama at dalawa yung ano natin diyan kapag ka yung mali yung username and password piprint natin yung invalid username or password pero pag mali din yung password yung length niya kulang dapat pati to sasama and should be at least 8 characters so paano natin gagawin yun Nandito na tayo sa part na yun, sa else. Kasi nga, pupunta lang yan dito kapag nag-false yung uh, true. 
which is tamang username at tamang password. So dito, ite-test ko lang yung password dot length, okay? If yung password dot length is less than what? Di ba minimum of eight characters tayo so nine. If mas mababa pa sa nine yung nilagay niyang password, ang gagawin natin, ididikit lang natin. This is the trick, no? We will just going to print end, okay? Tapos password should be at least eight characters. So saan natin ididikit yung string na to? So dito, dito natin ipiprint sa taas yung invalid username or password. So we have invalid username slash password. Okay? Invalid username or password. So, that's it. So, if we try to run this, and then I have inputted admins, tulad na sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, at tama kunwari yung password ko, uh, copy, paste, invalid username or password. Okay? So, paano nangyari yun? Kasi, nag-true siya doon sa password, true yung part na to, pero false yung part na to, and operator false, pupunta siya sa else, piprint niya to, and then yung password, since hindi naman siya less than 8, hindi trigger yung line na to. Okay? So, another example, tama yung username, admin, pass yung tinipe ko, invalid username or password, ganun pa rin, mali kasi yung password, so magpo-false siya dito, babagsak siya sa else, gagawin niya muna to, piprint niya to, at itatanong natin kung yung password length ay less than 9, which is 8. So, if that's true, uh, since natapos tayo sa password na may space, ididikit lang natin yung printout no, and password should be at least 8 characters. Kanina, hindi yung trigger yan kasi more than 8 naman yung characters, pero ngayon, since less than, matitrigger yung line na to. Okay? So, kapag tama yung nilagay natin, kagaya nito, admin, and then we have password as password, then we will going to be welcome inside the system. So, ganun lang kadali yung ating activity. Okay? So, nadali naman ang activity natin, sir. O nga, no? China oil. Next, we have the uh, activity na. No, sample lang yung mga kanina, but today we will going to have our activity. So, I'm expecting, you know, to participate with our activity. Gagawin nyo na to, uh, pero ibibigay ko pa rin yung source code. So, madali lang naman, challenging tong part na to. You will going to create a program that will separate the first name and last name from the inputted full name with this format. So, ang gusto kong gawin ninyo, gagawa kayo ng program na tatanggap ng last name. Dapat yung last name ganti yung format. Last name, and then comma, space, and then yung first name. Dapat laging ganito. Assume natin muna sa ngayon na dapat Tama lagi yung format. Hindi tayo mag a na mali yung format. Pag mali yung format, mali yung sagot. Ganun lang kasimple. Okay? So, ito yung magiging output niya. For example, niran natin yung program. Lilitaw yung enter full name. For example, uh, ang pangalan ko, salalila. And then, comma, space, and then, renmark. So, if you press enter, it will going to extract first name, which is renmark, and then the last name, which is salalila. Ganun lang kasimple. Paghihiwalayin mo lang yung... Uh, Apelido doon sa pangalan. Paano kung yung pangalan is medyo mas complex? So, halimbawa, De La Cruz, may space sa gitna, kama, space, and then Peter, space, John, space, Paul. So, tulad nito, no, tatlong silabos yung pangalan niya at dalawa yung doon sa last name. Kailangan sasama yung ganun. No? Ma-extract mo pa rin dapat ito, tsaka yun. Bibigyan ko yun ng clue. No? Ang clue nyo dito para magawa nyo yung activity na to, you have to make a very big importance do sa gamit ng comma. Ito yung magiging susi no, para makuha mo yung part nito, yung De La Cruz, kukunin mo yan, at yung part na Peter John Paul. Okay? So, kung anong functions o methods yung mga gagamitin, hindi ako magbibigay ng clue para doon. Okay? So, you may now pause the video and start working. Balik kayo dito sa ating video once na natapos nyo na yung inyong activity. Okay, so I assume tapos na kayo. We will now going to do that activity. So, we're going to create right click, new, class, at papangalanan natin yung class natin na uh, name extractor. Wala akong maisip, no? Extractor. And then, again, we will just going to open the main method. I mean, include the main method. Get the import. 
and then get the scanner declaration. Ang output natin is enter full name lang. Ganun lang kasimple. Tapos mag input na full name and that's it. So, we're going to have system.out.print and then we will go into print out enter full name and then we declare tayo ng isang string object na pangalan is full name and that would be equal to scan.next line okay after nating makapag input yun na yun no kailangan mapaghiwalay na niya yung first name at saka last name so how do we do that first i'll be declaring a string that should be capital and then i'll going to name the string as last name okay and the last name should be equal to ganito ang sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina uh, kanina no ang technique natin diyan kung meron akong ganito sa lalilak tapos uh, red mark na input ano ba yung palatandaan very simple kailangan mo lang hanapin yung pwesto ng uh, comma Ano ba yung isang method na tinuro ko sa inyo para mahanap yung pwesto ng isang character? Hindi ba dapat yun yung function na index of? Yung index of, nire-return niya yung number o yung place kung saan mo makikita yung unang instance ng character na yun. Tama? And also, para makuha mo yung part ng isang string, just the part of the string, we will going to use sub string function. So, itong dalawang function na to yung gagamitin para makuha yan. So, hopefully na pares tayo ng ginamit. So, yung mga students ko, they have creative way to do this, no? Nag-search-search sila sa stack overflow. Nakita nila yung uh, split. O pwede rin yun, pero magiging array kasi yung resulta, no? So, lumalayo tayo do sa uh, kung ano yung kailangan natin gawin. Pero po pwede yun. So, we have Last name would be equal to, uh, kukunin muna natin yung full name. So, full name, uh, dot substring. So, mag-perform tayo ng substring. Ang beginning index will be like this. It will start at 0. That's it. So, when we start at 0, we are actually selecting S. Ang tanong na lang dyan, gaano kahaba yung kailangan natin iselect. Tama? So, hindi naman natin pwedeng sabihin, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, hindi naman pwede sabihin 8. Statically, tatype mo din yung 8. Paano ko nagpalit ka ng apelido? So, hindi yun po pwede. So, kailangan dynamic yung pag-generate natin ng 8. At ano ba yung 8 na yun? Yun yung index kung saan mo mahanap yung comma. So, kung ganun yung mangyayari, kailangan natin dito ng function na uh, index of. So, anong gagawin natin? We will going to type full name ulit dot index of what? index of the character comma. That's it. And then, semicolon. Tapos na yung ating last name. Now, how do we do the first name naman? Okay? First name. Sa first name, hindi tayo magsisimula sa, sa zero, syempre. Ngayon, kung alam mo na yung pwesto kung saan nakalagay yung comma, kagaya nito, okay? Pag ginawa mo kasi yan, dama yung comma, inclusive kasi yung, ano, di ba, yung gamit na substring. So, hindi pwedeng ganun. So, kailangan magbilang tayo ng dalawa pa. So, kung dito siya magsisimula, kailangan 8 yan, 9, 10, magpa-plus tayo ng 2 para magsimula siya doon sa unang character. Ano yung end index? Ang end index ay wala. Wala kasi kapag ka nagsimula siya dito, kahit gaano pa kahaba yung first name, kailangan makukuha niya lahat yon Okay? So, buti nga, hindi ko pa nilagyan ng middle initial, no? The middle initial po pwede yun. Tatlong puto lang pwede natin gawin. Ngayon, since meron na tayong output, pwede na natin ngayon itong i-print. System.out.print. Mamaya ako na-explain kung paano nangyari yan. So, that print. And then, we will just go into print uh, first name. Una unahin natin i-print yung first name. First name will be equal to, syempre, yung variable natin na first name. And then, uh, backslash n. Pagsasamayin ko na lang, we have the last name, and then we have the object, should be object, lagi, nakakalimutan ko yun, last name. And then, that's it. So, if we run this, pagkita ko muna na dapat gumagana na yan, we have salalila, renmark, and then enter. That's it. We have renmark, salalila, over here. Walang excess na space. Okay, very good. And then, how about yung kanina, yung De La Cruz? So, subukan natin yung De La Cruz. Uh, de La 
Cruz, Peter, John, Paul. We have uh, Peter, John, Paul, De La Cruz. Okay? So, very simple. Uh, gumagana na siya. How do we did it? No? Explain natin. Mabilisan lang. Uh, again, ang gamit ng substring is kinukuha niya yung part ng isang string. So, ginagawa natin, ang last name ay equal to sa full name. Ito, for example. And then, substring, you start with zero. So, ibig sabihin, magsiselect tayo mula sa unang character. And then, kama, ang beginning index is hanggang dun sa index of nung character na, semi, uh, na kama. So, ang gagawin ng index of, hahanapin niya yung uh, kung saan nakalagay yung kama dun sa buong string. At ang re-return niyan will be a number. The index. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Again, it returns 8. And kung maalala nyo kahapon sinabi ko, I mean, do sa lesson natin previously, na ang uh, substring, ang end index is exclusive. So, ibig sabihin, kahit specify mo dito 8, hindi siya kasama. So, ibig sabihin, magsisimula siya sa 0 hanggang dun sa bago yung comma. Kaya kahit dilakros yung input mo dyan, makukuha pa rin yung buong string na yan. Ngayon, paano naman natin ginawa yung first name? Sabi ko nga, ganun lang din. Magsa-substring pa rin tayo, pero this time, ang beginning index would be starting dun sa kung saan nakapwesto yung comma. Maglalagay lang tayo ng plus 2 kasi kailangan nating uh, say 1 to 1 character to second character so dapat dito tayo magsisimula kaya meron tayong plus 2. Uh, wala tayong end index kasi nga kailangan nating makuha lahat ng character after that. Kahit gaano pa yung kahaba, we will going to consider that as the first name of nung taong yun. Okay? So ganun lang kadali yung mga activities natin ngayon na no? medyo alam ko na bobor kayo. Kasi nagbibake ako ng something na mas mahirap, no? Kasi yung dun sa array, medyo alam ko nahirapan na kayo. Kaya sinimplify ko na lang yung dun sa strings. Okay? So actually, we will now going to have the exam proper. So sa exam proper, no? A a ako actually, uh, I want you no, to do this challenge, no? This exam. Very interesting to, no? Tignan natin kung ano magiging atake ninyo sa paggawa ng uh, activity na to. We will now going to create a program, or rather, you will going to create a program that will detect whether the inputted string is a palindrome or not. So, ano muna yung palindrome? A palindrome is a word or phrase that reads the same whether you spell it or forwards or backwards. So, kahit basahin mo daw or spell mo yung word ng pa-front or pa-backward, parehas lang. Kagaya ng word na kayak. Pag binaliktad mo yung kayak, kayak pa rin yan. ba? Yung madam. So, i-flip mo yan, madam pa rin. How about yung race car? Yes. Race car sa palindrome. Tingnan nyo, kahit balik ta rin yung race car, race car pa rin yan. And refer. So, maraming pa yung mga examples na pwede nating uh, magamit. So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng palindrome. Ang program, ganito lang kasimple. Kapag nag-enter ka ng text, for example, na word na kayak, kagaya kanina, that should be a palindrome. So, Sabi niya, kayak is a palindrome. Supposed to be nung kahit anong case niya pwede. Kahit uppercase, lowercase, dapat gagana yan. And then we have yung word na hello, for example. Yung hello, hindi naman siya, uh, kapag binaliktad mo yan, no? Ole. So, hindi siya palindrome. Ganun lang siya kasimple. So, honestly, no? I, pref I prepared that problem. Wait lang. Okay, so actually, ito siya. I prepared it. And we will going to run this one. Then we can type, for example, kayak. Ka kayak is a palindrome. Paano naman kapag ka ginawa natin siya? Actually, there's no point. No? Nakita nyo naman, nagiging uppercase. Yun lang naman yung trick doon. Race car. Race car is still a palindrome. So, uh, kung nag-type ka ng word na hello, hello is not a palindrome. So, it just prints hello is not a palindrome. So, wala akong method na ginamit dito, no? I mean, custom method. Pero, mga 18 lines lang siya. Ganun lang kaikli yung program na to. So, you just have to think, no? Paano mo kaya malalaman, no? Paano mo kaya pwedeng itest na yung word na kahit i-spell mo siya or i-basahin mo siya pabalik, gaya nito, is still spelled the same. Okay? So, that's the clue. Kahit i- sulat mo siya pabalik or basahin mo siya pabalik, dapat uh, same pa rin, that's palindrome. No, yun na yung pinakakulo nyo dun. Pagka nakuha nyo yung subtle na hint na nandun, I think makukuha nyo na kung paano gagawin yung activity or yung exam na to. Okay?
So, I hope you learned something sa lesson natin ito. At good luck sa exam. And that's the end of lesson 14.2. If you love this video, kindly drop a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.